Hi everyone, it's Joyce. So, since I'm such a celebrated and well-known anime YouTuber with frequent uploads and over 3,000 subscribers, there's many, many people who care about my opinions when it comes to what they should watch. Alrighty then, I'm gonna tell you all what anime that I'm watching or planning to watch this season and what I think you should watch. Number one recommendation. The Demon Girl Next Door Season 2. You're going to have to watch Season 1 first, but it's well worth it. This excellent show is a very chill and pleasant slice of life about magical girls and demon girls living in harmony with one another, while one of the demon girls is deviously plotting to actually fucking murder one of the magical girls. It's now my destiny to find and murderize a magical girl. Whoa, are you kidding me? Having a destiny is cool! Shadow Mistress Yuko! Mm -hmm. To restore my ancestors to their former glory and to conquer, I mean conquer the world! <sighs> I've come to end the sad life of a magical girl! Huh. <sighs> and that would be the deal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you screwed up twice then. Only because you kept interrupting and throwing me off! Would you like to try again? No interruptions, okay? Okay. It's great. The lead couple is amazing. Yes, the girl who is trying to murder the other girl is also gay for this girl that she is trying to murder, which creates tension and drama. Also, the demon girl is way too weak to actually murder her enemy who she is gay for, which is just absolutely perfect and Wonderful! Uh, are you okay? A demon girl is attacking you and yet you won't even transform? Why didn't you try to dodge at the very least? Because it didn't seem very necessary? That's right. This girl stopped a truck with one hand. I should have eaten more to get some extra energy. Is that really the problem here? So yeah, this this show's just fantastic. Please watch it. 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 I've caught up with all the manga also, insofar as it's been translated, and it's fantastic also. The world building is fantastic and terrific and just good. Please watch The Demon Girl Next Door. Please watch The Demon Girl Next Door. Please watch The Demon Girl Next Door. Please watch it. Number two recommendation. The Executioner and Her Way of Life. It has a based as hell sounding Japanese title, and also it has Yuri and delicious, delicious blood. It is the talentless Nana of Isekais. That is to say, it has a decoy stock anime boy protagonist who thinks he'll take over the world and fails because he is killed by an anime assassin girl. It's great. So far, I take no responsibility for that claim if it should end up being bad later. Number three recommendation. Moriarty the Patriot. It has an OVA that is going to be out. I don't know how good the OVA is, but the series is real good. I need to finish the second core of it myself, but it's really good, at least what I saw so far, and I think y'all should watch it. I've recommended it before. I stand by that recommendation. It's quite something. Go check it out. Number four recommendation. Love Live Nijikasaki Season 2. I have complicated feelings about Love Live, but hey, it's, it's, it's more Love Live. If you like Love Live, you're going to enjoy more... Of, of love life. I enjoy love life. Uh, and uh, I, th I think, I, I think that's about it. Um, here's the list of anime I need to catch up on. Kaguya-sama, Odd Taxi, which I guess is doing NFTs. That's unfortunate. Oh well, grumble grumble. Magia Record, I think Majireko is confusing but cool. I may make a video about it. I don't know. Sitting down and figuring all that out will be a huge chore, so it's probably not coming anytime soon. Komi can't communicate. Okay, um, I, I actually fucking hate Komi can't communicate. I think it's ableist and grossly queerphobic and rarely funny. But I have to catch up on it anyway if I'm gonna make a video complaining about it eventually. Although, I don't 
really want to talk about it, but but hey, something's gotta get clicks one way or another, and uh, a whole list of shows here that I don't know if I like. Maybe some of these are hidden gems that are super good. Most of them probably aren't. I don't actually have the time or the will to watch every single anime produced every season of every year. Sorry. Uh, there's just too much actually good things to watch. Um, if what I recommended does not interest you, you do not have to watch it. You don't actually need to pay attention to seasonal anime. Go seek out what you want to see. Go talk to your friends. Hear about what they like. Tell them about what you like. Try that one obscure show that that one weird trans person in your Twitter circle or your Discord server keeps harassing people about. It, it's it's me. The, 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 one, the one weird trans person it, it is me. Or don't. You don't have to consume every single piece of media in existence or only check out what's popular, or what some bitch on YouTube tells you to check out. Just watch whatever you want to watch. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. That being said, fucking watch the demon girl next door! Fucking watch it! Fucking read the manga! This shit owns! That's really the main reason for this video existing. Sorry. I really don't know what else to say. Here's some other things I've been checking out that I happen to like, I suppose. Kindred Spirits on the Roof. It's about ghosts who want to fuck. It's a really good Yuri VN that I've played and enjoyed a whole lot. Yeah, y'all should, should check that one out. Mm, milk Inside a Bag of Milk and Milk Outside a Bag of Milk, a duology of two very short, very cheap, very well-produced, very well-written indie visual novel titles, which are excellent and good, and also probably the literal best damn fucking depictions of mental illness in video game history. Fucking play this. You need to know her pain. Uh, Trigger, trigger warning for this. It's it's actually pretty pretty heavy and pretty seriously, you know, about mental illness and disassociation and like uh, all kinds of really trauma and all kinds of weird, very really bad things. But fucking play it. It's good. Both of them are good. The first one is literally 99 cents. Goes on sale regularly and takes 20 minutes tops to 100 percent. So. If you think you can handle it, please go check it out. Psychonauts 2. I streamed myself playing this. Y'all saw it. Best game ever. Obviously not perfect, but still. Best game ever. I am so glad that I backed this. Even if my name was in the credits in the wrong spot, because I put my name in wrong. Wow, yeah. Alright. <laughs> Other Side Picnic. I need to catch up on the novels for this. The anime is pretty mediocre and doesn't do a great job adapting the novels coherently, but the novels have been really great. I am really happy with them. I want to talk about them, but I don't really know how. They're, they're good, though. They're pretty gay. Also, we need more Yuri stories and anime stories in general that are about college students and not just about high schoolers. Asumi-chan is interested in lesbians! It, it, it is a Yuri manga, of course. I'd like to tell you about this one, but YouTube will get mad at me, so uh, I'd suggest just going and reading it if you're 18 or older. It's quite good. Okay, uh, this is a DS game from 2005, and I know not everyone has their DS or 3DS devices on hand, and the special stages are really annoying in an emulator, but since this isn't the Sonic game that I'm planning to make the multiple hour video about, I'm gonna tell y'all about it here anyways. This is probably just literally just the, the best Sonic game ever made. It invented the boost mechanic 
and it uses the boost mechanic, like, infinitely better than any of the 3D Sonic games, save for Unleashed and also Sonic and the Secret Rings. It has based Hideki Naganuma on beats, which is just fucking perfect, and it's a damn shame that this is the first and last Sonic game Naganuma will ever compose for, because any game that uses their music is like instantly like a billion 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 times better. This game is made better by their music. I am literally not exaggerating. The gameplay is better in Sonic Rush because of Hideki Miyakanuma's music. The special stages in Sonic Rush are literally so much infinitely more fun because of a new day. Because of this song that y'all are hearing right now. Also, Sonic Rush has Blaze. Blaze! Blaze needs to return in Sonic games. Blaze was done dirty by her 3D debut being 06. She debuted properly in Sonic Rush, and Sonic Rush is unique in that it is one game that simultaneously introduced a new character to the franchise and then handily made a case for their entire existence. Actually, it, it, it's not unique in that regard. All of the Sonic characters' ex existences are justified. Blaze is amazing! Blaze just needs her own game. That is just a thing that needs to be a thing. Just Blaze the Cat in a game without Sonic needing to be there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sonic Rush is one of the most perfect damn video games in the entire world, and it deserves to be celebrated. Maybe I don't need to tell people to play Sonic games, but I'm going to, because Sonic is fire. Sonic games are good, they have always been good, and they will never not be good. This is my official statement. You can take me to court with that. Sonic Shuffle is the best game ever made! <laughs> Okay, uh, hi again. Future Joyce. Sorry, no, I can't end this video with a stupid joke about Sonic Shuffle being the best game, even though it is. No, I need to tell y'all about Sonic Roboblast 2. I mean, do I really need to tell you though? Just look at this. This game is clearly the best thing. I don't think I need to tell you much more because it's free and you should try it out. Despite not being an official Sonic release, it is definitely one of the best 3D Sonic games ever made. Aesthetically, kinetically, ah! There are some flaws with this game, namely that it can pretty easily give someone motion sickness. I mean, but it's an experience! Also, it's psychedelic as hell, it feels incredible to learn how to play it, it's just great! It's like doing drugs! Yeah, you might get a headache later, but gosh, does this feel spectacular in the meantime. And it is incredible, it is just wonder- just wow that this thing has been in active development since 1998, and yeah, yeah, this- 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 this is just- this is just an amazing achievement of the the Sonic fan game base community. This is an incredible game. <laughs> just wow. Ah, uh, Sonic games are good. <laughs> That's really all. Play Sonic Rush. Play Sonic Robo Blast 2. In unless you don't want to. A and then don't. <laughs> Thank you all for listening. Whoosh whoosh. Ah. Uh. I don't really um, have a lot of big, great recommendations past that, mostly because I've been playing Sonic games a lot of the time. Sonic games are actually generally good. I'm trying to make some more videos about them. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's all. Thanks to everyone for sticking around for whatever the hell this was, and I'll see you next time for the first real video in a while, I hope. Bye! Yeah! <laughs>